Hey guys, it's Buckner Gaming here, bringing you back another video for our Weapon Convergence series, and today we're going to be covering the SIG SG-553. So we're going to be taking the base Growl 556, or the SIG SG-552, and turning it into the SIG SG-553. So I'm going to show you how to build this, we'll test out the recoil pattern, see how it handles, and then get in game, and see how it performs in game against bots. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here we have our final design for the SIG SG-553. Let's go ahead and back out, we'll strip this down to base, and build it from scratch. So... The first major attachment here I'm going to use is at the barrel. Some of these attachments are going to be more so personal preference that you can swap out as needed. But the main attachment that you need for this is going to be the barrel. So we're going to want that XRK CZN Mark II barrel. The pros of this being damage at range as well as bullet velocity. The cons being aim down sight speed. So this is the same length as the base barrel at 8.9 inches is the IRL length for these barrels. So it's going to be the same length barrel. Again, it's just going to assist with the damage at range and bullet velocity. And it's going to hurt your ADS speed very slightly, but you're not really going to notice it. So we'll go ahead and slap that on there. Now you see the there is Picatinny rails on the left, right, uh, top, and bottom now of the barrels. So this is a more modernized barrel. Again, the major changes with the 553 to the 552 we'll get into after we build this weapon. So again, we're going to want that XRK CZN Mark II barrel. Now for the optic, this is again more so personal preference. I'm going to go ahead and select the holographic sight just because this I think aesthetically looks very good on the weapon. And again, it's a good, good reliable sight for the, any weapon in the game. Again, it is going to hurt your ADS speed slightly because you are already in weight to the weapon with a optic. But again, it's not going to be very noticeable. You can see there's just a slight negative to the mobility and the control for the weapon. Next up for the stock, we're going to go ahead and put the XRK Strike Light 3 barrel on there. So this one is going to just improve our aim walking movement speed and overall mobility with the con being aiming stability. But again, this thing's still very accurate at a decent amount of range with this build that we're going to be using. So I find this just allows me to be a little bit more mobile with this weapon. You can see there we're taking a big plus to the mobility. The control is going down slightly, but honestly, I don't really notice it. I'm able to get people at pretty good ranges with this weapon. So again, we're going to put that XRK Strike, strike Light 3. Now we're going to skip out on the perk as well as the rear grip. Those are going to be more so personal attachments, personal preference. Um, for the ammunition, I'm going to go ahead and just put the 60 round magazine on here. So obviously this is just going to increase our magazine capacity by double, going from the 30 to the 60 round. The con being ADS speed as well as movement speed. But honestly, I don't really notice much of a difference as well as we're making it up in... For these negatives and other attachments or we're at least mitigating them so i think this handles really well and plus with the high rate of fire of this weapon i find this really helps me out in firefights being able to have that extra ammunition available so we'll go ahead and select that and now for the under barrel i'm actually this is going to be more so personal preference as well but i'm going to go with the cronin shark 2 just because this is the only custom under barrel attachment that we do have for this weapon so this is just going to assist us with our aiming stability as well as our movement speed this is going to mitigate that slight negative we're taking with the stock that we have on this weapon but it is also not going to give us a negative for ads speed so we're saving up on that versus any other attachment besides the commando foregrip so again this cronin is basically a tat it's the same statistics as a tactical foregrip on any other weapon just a cronin shark 2 and it's more of a cosmetic difference to fit the sig sg 550 series so we'll go ahead and put that on there and this is our final design for the sig sg 553 so again once we get in game i'll go over the reasons why this is a 553 versus a 552 but mainly the difference as you can see here if we get into the preview animation is the 553 is basically the same uh cosmetically as the 552 the only major differences are the recoil spring is now wrapped around the piston rod as in the sg 550 and 51 models which addresses a lot of reliability issues that the 552 had in the field um the 552 553, excuse me, also allows for a 550, 551 charging handle on this weapon as well. And it does come with factory settings to have uh, the Picatinny's on the barrel attachment for the handguard, which we have here with this new handguard. And you see we have all Picatinny rails on the top, bottom, left, and right of this weapon. So much more modernized looking gun. And unfortunately, we can't don't have a translucent magazine like we do in real life with these weapons. So I feel that the 60 round mag besides the fact that it gives me extra ammunition it makes the weapon look more modernized versus the base black magazine so i think the 60 round mag almost somewhat simulates the translucent magazine that we see in the real life versions i'm not sure why they did this with the g36 as well as this not giving us a tra translucent magazine but 
That's okay. I think this really makes up for it. Plus, it does help get those extra shots down range. So let's go ahead now and jump a game and see how this thing handles with the recoil patterns. Okay, now that we're in game with our SIG SG-553, what I'm going to do is just aim. I'm going to let this rip and not control the recoil. Let's we'll see how it handles. So there, I just fired up 20 shots since we do have a large magazine. So again, let me just let this rip, not controlling. So you can see, same with any attachments that we have on this weapon, the recoil pattern is always going to be the same. It's going to go vertical and then deviate slight to the right. So now, let me reload here and we'll try and control it. Try and get around 30 rounds downrange with this and control the recoil. So there you can see, pretty accurate. Those are all center mass shots. Um, so there's not a lot of deviation, not a lot of muzzle climb on this weapon. So again, let me try to control it once more. Try it once more. So you can see they're all very accurate shots. This is controlling with all 60 rounds right here. These are all center mass shots. You know, if I could control, compare my body to, to the, this bullet spread, these are all, these are all hits. So, there's not a lot of muzzle deviation, or bullet deviation, I should say. Now, if we go back a little more and see how it handles that range, we'll test this out, try and hit that light. So you can see that's where it struggles a little bit at ranges, but again, if you're careful about how you control this, you can see we're getting a lot of hits there on that. Again, it's a little easier to hit a bigger target when you're shooting at players, so we'll see that when I get in the gameplay here. When we're shooting at something larger, it's easier to hit. But again, this is the 60, all 60 rounds controlled. Very accurate weapon. Again, high rate of fire, so the 60 round magazine definitely helps. Let's go ahead now and get in game and see how it handles in game against bots. Okay, now that we're in game with our SIG SG 553, let's go ahead and see how it handles in game. So before we get into any re uh, stats about the weapon, I do want to mention for the giveaway. So we're going to be doing a giveaway on this channel for two $35 gift cards for your console of choice. So all you need to do to win to enter that is be subscribed to the channel as well as like and comment on the videos below. So subscribe to the channel and comment on the videos I have listed below for the SIG SG550 that we covered using the Nexus barrel, the LWCRI SMG45, which is that Americanized upgraded version of the UMP that I covered, as well as the SIG SG550 sniper video that we made the other day. So I'll go ahead and put those below. You just go ahead and like and comment on those three, one of those three or all of those videos with what your console is, as well as what you're liking, not liking about season two so far, what you want to see coming, uh, anything I just want to hear from you guys if you're excited for the Battle Royale or Warzone that has been pretty much confirmed at this point with the Season 2 trailers. So just let me know what you think on those videos and make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll pick a video, we'll pick a winner for the gift cards at some time next week. And what I'll be doing is just getting a hold of you, getting to your console of choice, and then we'll figure out a payment uh, way for me to either give you the card or I'll PayPal you the uh, funds to do so if you're out of country. We had to do that a little bit with the the giveaway last time but we did giveaways right for season one so we're gonna be doing this every season going forward so again just be subscribed to the channel and like and comment on one of or all those videos with what you're liking about season two what you want to see coming and your console so now back to the instructions on the weapon or the statistics on the weapon so you can see first off it handles really well again this is a pretty good assault rifle with the high rate of fire for this it has a very high rate of fire similar to the m13 it reminds me of the damage is kind of uh, iffy with this one. I haven't really tested out the damage. It seems to be a four to five shot kill dependent on the range. And it's uh, definitely hit or miss with me. I have a lot of good and I have a lot of bad games with this online. So with this, these attachments here, your mobility seems to be pretty, pretty good. And I think the accuracy for this is very good as well. So let's see here. Oh boy. I think even the bots are using 725s now. There we go. Now, the one thing I really like about this is the 60 round magazines actually really help us out with uh, the high rate of fire. Helps helps us get more shots down range without having to worry about reloads. So this has actually saved me quite a bit in a lot of games. So 
What is the SIG SG553? Because I know this is one that we've covered. The 552 is the base as well as some of the 550 variants so far with this. So the 553. Whoa, there we go. Is there another one? Man, gotta love these rise shields, huh? There we go. Oh my god. Getting lit up here. Hang on. So, oh boy. So the SIG 53 is a slightly improved version of the 582, like we discussed. The compact version of the SG 550, which we covered on the channel on day one of the Season 2 content drop. So, it's a commando or carbine version of that. And again, that's the 552 at base is the Growl 556. So, this is the 553, which is the slightly upgraded version, which we talked about is that recoil spring is wrapped around the is finally updated to be wrapped around of the piston rod similar to the 550 and 551 so the sg553 is the standard assault rifle for the swiss army it fires a 5 by 5 5.5 6 by 45 millimeter nato round and again it fires from a box magazine of 510 20 or 30 rounds so in real life in the game here we have a 50 as well as a 60 round which um, I'm sure you'd be able to get in real life as well but as standard it fires only up to the 30 round magazine that we see at base with this weapon oh my gosh these riot shields so the 553 was designed for urban environments uh, where it is shorter length and more affordable and short range engagement CQC. Uh, it's a very good close range tool, even with its, sh oh my God, even with its shorter barrel, it's very good at engagements and highly accurate up to 200 to 250 meters as well. So uh, very good solid weapon. Again, minor improvements from the 552 and you can see it does have just very little differences from the base 552 that we see. I didn't show it in the beginning of this video, but if you go ahead and compare this barrel to the base barrel, major differences are the picatinny rails uh you don't have picatinny rails on the on the base handguard for this you don't have the bar you don't have picatinnies on the base handguard in the game for the base barrel again but this one you have barrels at 12 3 9 and 6 o'clock on the weapon as well as it just being a more modernized handguard as well so you can see here at these ranges it's very effective and pretty accurate as well. Gotta love those riot shields. So let me know down below what you guys think of this weapon. I think this is a pretty good overall attachment for this weapon as well as um, the Archangel bar barrel for the 550 sniper that we covered the other day is easily the most accurate, but this is definitely gonna assist with your damage at range as we saw with the statistics for the barrel itself. So let me know down below what you think of this and what attachments you use on this weapon if they're different from what I have here. So now for the 550, just some more information here as we talked about before. Uh, Swiss Army Rifle, the barrel being 8.9 inches long for this. So the same as the 550. Now there is also a 553, oh man, where am I getting shot from? <laughs> oh my gosh. So there is also a 553 LB, which incorporates the longer barrels. What that stands for, which incorporates a slightly longer barrel at 13.7 inches. Um, so we come with that, and then there is also a 13.3 inch barrel as well. So at base, though, these are, I believe, 8.9 inches for the barrel length for these two weapons. For the 552 and the 553 have the 8.9 at base as well as they can be upgraded to the 13.3 and then the lb or the long barrel the 553 is available at the 13.7 inch inches as well enemy at the hotel there we go so you can see here it handles pretty well um again cartridges it takes oh who are we getting the shot from So you can see here, this is where that 60 round magazine comes in handy. I was just able to take out four or five guys right there without having to reload. Due to the high rate of fire, we able to get shots down range quick. And it's just important that we have them uh, be accurate shots that count, right? So that's kind of what we're able to do with these attachments. Oh my gosh.
So this carbine has pretty good ergonomics, as we talked about with the mobility of this particular attachment. The 553 is also capable of automatic fire, sick, sick around fire, as well as three round burst. There's a perk for the three round burst, same as real life. Be able to fire in those three select fire modes. And it's excellent at close range, as you can see. So let me know what you guys think of this weapon, what you think of season two so far. And again, to enter the giveaway, check out the description for those details. I'm picking a winner for the $35 gift card for your console of choice next week. So I am Buffner Gaming. This is the SIG SG-553, the upgraded version of the 552. And until next time, Buffner Gaming, out.